Well, here we are. Normal service has resumed. Um, a Hawk 200 by AA Models. By AA. Um, this is uh, this is a company from Ukraine. One of the businesses still working over there. Um, I used to have a Matchbox Hawk 200, so when I saw this um, available, I thought, yeah, we gotta have that. Go with my other Hawks. A little collection of Hawks there. So this is the prototype, or the sales version or prototype, whatever. But yeah, I used to have a matchbox version of this. So here we are, that's the box art, obviously. Not too bad, nice little drawing. And uh, can go that way. As you see, the uh, plenty of space in the box <laughs> for the part. But there's lots of, uh, this instruction is quite large, so that's nice and clear. And the bigger box makes more of a uh, impression on the shelf, I suppose. Look at the look at this brew later on. It's a quick look inside because it's worth looking inside. We've also got in this uh, kit got some photo etch parts. You can see how sharp they are. Mainly harnesses and various bits and bits and bobs. And there's a uh, mask set for the canopy as well, which is always welcome. Good. So that's good there. And the uh, what have we got here? There's de decals, obviously. I thought there was something else in here. Oh yeah, there's a there's a little little cellophane sheet here, which may be a head of display things. Uh, perspex. Um, so we had we we'll see later on. Got f four different options, uh, but two different aircraft. ZH200 and ZG200. Um, so you got a choice of two, but it's really a choice of four. Depending on which way you look at it. Nice little sprue diagram. All the paints here. Um, they've got AK options, uh, but uh, the descriptions will give you a good idea of what alternative you want to buy. Nice clear uh, built up. Uh, Details of the interior parts, including the ejector seat, the single seat version of the Hawk, and various parts which you won't see once you put them in, but uh, you enjoy knowing that they are there. And you tells you what parts to cut off, obviously. Uh, basic construction of a Hawk. If you've built one Hawk, you've built most of them. A little bit of a, I don't know what that is there, plus that's the shoot box or something, I'm not sure. I think these have a shoot. I saw one of these displaying it, I think it was Northfield or somewhere, back in the day, or oh, it might have been Farnborough. So a usual thing, they just like Airfix, you put the uh, actuator parts on there. And there it is, nearly done. So it's not a not a complicated kit from any true explanation of complicated, but um, it's enough to keep you busy and uh, enjoyable build. So there you go, nice colour explanation of the um, different versions. The dunce folder, that's uh, I've been there when uh, yeah, the nice show there. Wings and wheels, I think it was one of those uh, mixture of uh, shows and cars, and that's the one I bought built before, Hawk 200, ZG 200, and ZH 200 is the more of the advertising sales version. Uh, there, so plenty of good uh, good options there. I'll let you be decision decide whether you think they're good options. Now we've got a uh, nice little resealable pack bag, which is good to have because, well, you can use it for other things for a start, but uh, also you don't have the chance of ripping it open and uh, leaving it unsealed. Oh, for goodness sake. For goodness sake. There we go. It's resealable but not openable. <laughs> it's tricky to fiddle with. I'll have a quick look at this. I won't take too much time on here. But uh, there's the two-part, you can either have two-part 
uh, cockpit or a single part for the cockpit but it um, has the advantage of you can either instead of always having to put two together you can have it already stuck together like that I won't open that because it's it's clear enough isn't it I think it's clear enough looks pretty clear I'll keep it clean good the uh, if you look, look, look up look, close look on here I'll that away so there's no background uh, there's some good detail nice recessed detail on the tail as well I think see that and uh, I think there might be there's an optional tail here as well it's different each I think the prototype is more simple tail than the uh, sales type so you've got options for tails and you got the interior there nice little um, that's a flat cockpit instrument panel and that's a detailed instrument panel so you can have the option to paint your own panel I think um, basic interior details but you won't see them very much anyway but uh, there's the additional part for the parachute I think there they are. Uh, very uh, almost AFX like uh, parts of the wings but uh, I think some of these will have to be signed down it's really a bit, bit pointy there but uh, I'll sand those down when I come to build it make sure I've got a nice snug fit and uh, but they're the inside so they're not fully as worried about the inside of the moulding as the parts which are showing you can see there they got the um, little cut out there for when the, the navigation lights are fitted because you actually got on the on the clear sprue got uh, parts for the lights which is quite uh, unusual and, and a bonus I like the uh, trainer version you got the well, that's interesting. That's the uh, the tank under there, but it's actually like the you have for a uh, uh, red arrows. <laughs> uh, you can have a what if a red arrow, single seat red arrows if you like in that case. But you've also got the, uh, the cannon for under the uh, belly, which doesn't show up on any of the uh, painting instructions. But you've got to praise different hard points. Yeah, and that's probably that's the other half of the two halves. Is it? Or is it? No, actually, you've got, you got two of them. There's, there's both sides side of the cannon. And you've got. Uh, where's that going? Quite a few. Two sides of the cannon again. So this is a duplicate part. So whether they're supposed to be two, two sprue. He's in there, or they've given me two parts, and uh, hopefully not missing any other parts. Uh, I may got a bonus there. Hope nobody's got a sprue E missing, but uh, better to have too much than too little. Let's get, let's get, get there's the quite good detail on the parts themselves. Can't see any flash on there, can you? And again. The various parts I can't necessarily recognise. That looks like a refueling probe again or something, doesn't it? Various options, probably for export versions. They actually do a um, they do other versions of the kit for export to places like Canada and that. So perhaps some of these uh, parts are for those versions, and it won't be used. So you. I think I can see this little nose there. I can see enough parts here to have a full kit, so I'm sh pretty sure that what they've done, they may have just put put in two uh, two sprues. So it's B, which is A, and C. Uh, so F, no. Do you see? Oh, there is D, A, B, C, D. That's 
B. Yeah, A, B, C, D, E, E. So, uh, whatever this is. I say as well, but it's, it's your turn to be. Anyway, I'm uh, glad I bought that. And hopefully, you've seen it now. You can decide for yourself if you want to buy it yourself. But, uh, I think it's still available. A and A models. My first one of this kit, this um, this this company, and they seem like a decent uh, manufacturer. So there you go. I think I've talked for long enough now, ten minutes. Uh, thanks for staying with me if you have, and speak to you again soon. Bye.